Allah has parts. He says Muslim scholars say we should take this literally. Which Muslim scholars? Which verse is that when she says that Allah has a leg? Do you know? Look, I will give you all of the ayat of all of the sifat. Tell me right no now. Problem. I don't know right now. You don't know? Right I will tell you. Quran Go chapter ahead, 68 me. verse 42. Go ahead. Okay, it says, Yawma shak shafun an saki. That yes, Allah has a... It means a leg. It does not mean leg. First it means leg, wrong. yes. That is not Arabic. You're word. the only one who who's saying shak? that. Who knows shak? It shak means, means shin. A shin. Yes. Shin, not leg. My friend, shin is this, part yeah. of the leg. No, leg is more about? than just a shin. My, my, okay, my. So Come on, with shin, mine. You gotta teach me. Okay, I'm gonna okay. teach you English now, right? No, huh? I'm gonna teach you English because shin and leg are not okay. the same so thing. So it took you 30 minutes to tell me that your I God has a shin, right? The, no, I told you so. Beginning, Allah has sifat. I mentioned the yad, the wad, the and shot, also and know we believe when, in them. And you also know when Allah is gonna put his leg into the fire, hellfire, and the fire is gonna say kati, kati, right? Shark is not mentioned in that. Okay, but the leg Go is ahead. mentioned. The foot is mentioned. The foot is mentioned. The foot is mentioned. So foot is Go attached ahead. to the shah. Now way, my question is very simple. Go ahead. When the foot is attached to the shah of Allah, which is the shin of Allah, is the shin attached to Allah's butt? Or Na'udhu Allah's Na'udhu Allah's Na'udhu tummy, Na'udhu or where is it? Na'udhu my question. Na'udhu billah. Na'udhu billah. Na'udhu billah. I, will I need an answer. Okay, I will Don't answer. Don't say na'udhu billah. Answer, answer me. Yeah, go ahead. And then you're going to tell me who Asim is. Ah. Okay. I will tell you, but okay. I need okay. to know okay. if no, you I'm know your God or not. It took you 30 minutes to tell me you. Me. It's been an hour and you won't tell me who Asim is. It's been an hour for you to tell me if Allah has a body part. Go ahead. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sifat that befit his honor. We do not make it like a chart where the leg bone attacks to this bone and that bone. Whatever Allah said about himself, we believe in it in a way that befits his majesty. We so, do not say this means that it's going to connect to this like the human so he body. Has, he has sifat that why are would he need? To him. Why would he need a leg he or a foot? Need anything, does he need to walk? Does he need to play football? He does not need anything, subhanahu wa ta'ala. But why does, but you just has, said he has a shot. Yes, because he said he did. So why so does he need that? He does not need anything. That is who he is. Well, I, I, I have, so. I have no. a leg no. and I have a shock okay. no. because I use it. No. I have a foot. I walk with no. it. Who's I can, I can okay. kick footballs okay. with it, Who's right? Asim? Why does Allah Who's have Asim? a leg? You just, Who's Asim? This is the biggest you thing you said that Allah him? has a shock. Didn't I answer him? Why Who's does Allah him? have a shock? Who's That's the main question. Asim? Why Who's does Allah have a shock? Why, why, why? I have answered your questions. Who's Asim? Why does Allah have a shock? Who's Asim? Why you see does this? Allah have he, a shot? He said on tape that he was going to answer me so after that. Asim no, is more important Asim? than Allah, who's right? Who's Asim? Does Allah have You're a shot? You're a liar. You are tape. a liar. You don't know who's what Allah Asim? is. Who's Asim? You don't know who Allah is. Who's Asim? You don't know I who Allah is. I told you who Allah is. You no, don't you don't know who Allah is. No. Right? No. That's it. That's it. Run away. Run away. Run away. Run away. Which Muslim scholars? The foot is mentioned. The foot is mentioned. The foot is mentioned. Allah has parts. He says Muslim scholars say we should take this literally. Which Muslim scholars? All right. What do you say? Why Allah's foot is in hell? Well, the other hadith said over it, so. No, the other hadith doesn't you, say you over it. You got kind of shocked see. and you were like, let oh man, see. I'm looking let like an see. idiot in front of my followers. Let me see. Like, oh let man, me let me find the other hadith. My friend, let me find, my friend, does it say in it or over it? The last one said over it. Last one, which one? This one say the, over the it? The last hadith you had, the other, the other version over it? of the hadith said okay. over it. Okay, my friend, hold on. What does fiha means? Fiha, mean, fiha means in it. In it, okay. Yeah. So, in this is this Sahih Bukhari? In, in the last is this Sahih Bukhari? Over. Hold on, relax, take a chill. Is I'm this sure. Sahih Bukhari? I'm just explaining to you because you, you have is, trouble understanding. Is this Sahih Bukhari? I don't know, I can't see. I can only see the okay. Arabic. It's right there. Sahih oh, Al Bukhari yeah. 7384. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's Sahih Bukhari. So, when we say over it, over, what does what's the Arabic word for over? Uh, Allah. Allah. Okay. So, which, which in the said other, in the other hadith, hadith, the previous on, hadith that got you a bit yeah, shook. Yeah, come on, the man. Other hadith. Come on, man. Hold on. Can you show me here? Hatta yur el kadamahu. Can this hadith says over it or in it or anything like that? It simply says he puts his foot. That's it. He sets his foot. Okay. This hadith That's doesn't fine, no talks yeah. about. Listen. Listen, hold on, relax. You first said the other hadith says over it. This I hadith say, doesn't even say, say you over asked it. me what does Allah mean. You said what does Allah mean? I told you. So it means. this hadith, I said to you the, the way that it was rendered was over. No, they That's were lying in said, translation. I said no. I told you this means. is a live stream. So let's go over here. Let's see. Is there any over, in, under, 
in the statement of the hadith. No, but it's how the, it. it's how the translator now, rendered it. It's how the translator rendered it. It does not matter. They were lying. That's exactly what I'm showing. Now here. It's not a lie. When, it's not it's a lie. lie. It's just let me prove it to you. Remember, it's a, a lie. Translation doesn't let have to be me, word by word, does it? Let me prove it to you that it's a lie. The prophet said the people will be thrown into hell and it will keep on saying, is there any more? Is there any more? So the hell is asking for more and more people. Till the Lord of the world pushed his foot in it. Unless Lord of the world puts something in it, how can hell be satisfied until he will put something in it? So according to the text of the Hadith as well, it should not be translated it as over it, rather in it, because the hell is asking for more. Number one. Number two, the Arabic is very clear. It does not say Allah or over. It says Fiha, which is in it. Now, my friend, can you please explain why they did a deceptive translation? They didn't do a deceptive translation. The then first, the first translation, the first translation makes it clear Hatta that he he put his foot on Where? the hellfire to prevent Where? any more from going. There's in. nothing called. He own. needs to prevent what the, what the idea is is my that friend, God is preventing any more from going friend, into hellfire. My friend, hold and that's on. just the way that there it is, is rendered. There is nothing called. What, and by the way, what does it matter if it's fiha or, or it's Allah? Who cares? What's, the, what's is, the difference? What's the problem? There is nothing called own or over. By the way, fi has a lot more complicated than you think. You don't you have a, a, a lick of understanding about the Arabic. So fi is a lot more complicated than you think, mate. Okay. Just let me in. give you let me it give you another evidence. In. Look at the let me give you kamus. another evidence. Look at the classical kamus. You don't know let nothing. Let me about. give you another evidence. In the Jannah, you guys will be able to see the shin of Allah. Why is it not the shins of Allah? Because the other shin is in hell. If Allah has two right hands, he should say two shins. But he doesn't say two shins. Because one of his shin is in hell. Why? Because he put his foot in the hell. Otherwise, hell will keep on asking more and more people. And Allah is out of people. That's not me saying. That's the hadith saying. Are you disagreeing with the Sahih, Sahih Bukhari hadith? No. Okay. So if you don't... So basically, but, but I if, don't think that's where his other his other foot is not in in hell when it's when his shin friend, is presented to us in his majesty. It's my friend, hell. my friend, my friend. If You're Allah will two things that have my friend, to do if with one Allah one. will take his shin out of the hell, then hell will ask for more. He'll say, "Give me more. Is there more? Give me more. Give me more. Give me more people." Why is he only showing one sin? Because the other shin is in hell. Can he take the other shin out of hell? If you will take the shin out of hell, the, shin, the hell will say, give me more, give me more, give me more. I'm not saying that. Your hadiths are saying that. I just want to understand your premise. Are you saying that mm. if Allah takes his foot off of the hell fire, that it's mm. going to continue to ask for more? That's what Allah did, no? No, 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 no. Isn't you, that it? It doesn't say what's going to happen if he takes his foot off the hell fire. You're but saying like, that why did Allah put his... The hell fire the, the, the hellfire is going to continue asking for more. Is that what you're yeah. saying? No, I'm asking you, why did Allah put his uh, foot in the hellfire? It, it's it, it's a symbolic stop to, to, to let the hellfire know that this, there is no more to be placed. It doesn't say, it doesn't say that. It doesn't huh? say that. It doesn't listen, say that. It doesn't say what you're saying either. Brother, listen. Who, why, why does him having his foot on the, on the hellfire necessitate that has to be there forever? In order for it to stop, because that's, that's Allah's command. That's the way that He decided to show His command Perfect. by putting His yeah. foot over the hellfire. Perfect. But He put it now inside the hellfire. Fiha. Doesn't mean it stays there forever, does it? Why? Otherwise, it will say more and more. Enough. No. So, dude, listen. That's what you, that's you, what please... you think will happen. Allah okay. controls it. In, in okay, now listen. Wants. If He wants to stop listen, it, let me tell you way, something. He doesn't have hmm. to keep His foot on there, does He? L let me tell you something. Let me ask you something. If my understanding of this hadith is wrong. Can you provide me with an evidence, shell proof, right, with the hadith, another sahih hadith, which says Allah has taken his foot out of the hell, or he can take his foot out of the hell, and the hell will not ask or shout for more and more and more. Now, the mic is yours. No, I, I, can't, I can't show you an evidence that says that explicitly, but neither can you show me an evidence that his foot will remain there forever. How no, about that? The, the, the onus is on the claimant. You need to prove that... Mm -hmm. The, there is a hadith, because I'm using your own standard against you now, right? You yeah. need to prove that there's a hadith saying that one foot is in the hell mm -hmm. and then one foot is obviously uh, present on the day of resurrection. So everyone Yeah, I just shed. showed you. You need yeah, to prove that. 
Yeah, I'm just proving it by Quran. No, you're not. And you're just showing, you're showing me two different you, things that appear to be a completion. My brother, my brother, brother, listen. There you go. Allah will uncover one of his shin, right? And then people will see him because Allah is behind a curtain always. Nobody can mm -hmm. see Allah unless he removes the curtain. And finally, on the day of judgment, Allah will uncover one of his chin from the from that curtain he will remove that curtain and you could see his chin now if if supposedly both of his shins are there then Allah could have simply said you would see my shins but he says sin sing singular again it comes down to it comes down to the fact that we don't understand the nature of the shin so it doesn't matter. It doesn't so matter. This then, is becoming circular now. I'm not going to lie to me. That's why I said you do not have any evidence. I do have a logical evidence.